This morning we're going to learn how to validate a collection. And basically what validation does is it's going to look at a collection's structure and it's going to seek out whether you know everything is uh, valid or um, whether it's not. And it's going to return basically just a, a single document kind of stating some things about it. And uh, one thing to note here too, this is fairly resource intensive. So this is not something that you want to go around calling all the time. Uh, let's see. Let's do habits and then let's do uh, validate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify full to be true initially and then we'll look at when it's false and uh, you can compare the difference to show you how each work. So this is looking at we're validating the collection here. Okay, let's uh, scroll down here and you'll see some of the uh, fields here in this validate, right? For instance, one of them is errors. Um, you can see valid, true. And then you can go back through and you can see, you know, objects found, invalid objects, uh, bytes with headers, bytes without headers, deleted count, deleted size, in uh, number of indexes, keys per index, etc. Okay. <clears throat> and if we were to look at where the full, we specify it to be false, you'll notice that we don't get the full detailed information. We do get whether valid, true, errors, and uh, then, of course, we get this warning message saying some checks omitted for speed use full true option to do a more thorough scan. Okay. Um, so in general, these are both useful uh, to look at, uh, but understand that this is this uh, this true I should say is definitely more resource intensive. So this is not something that you want to go calling around. Um, not everything that you want. I mean. You don't want to go calling around this all the time, not especially not in production. It's one thing to do this on test to understand uh, what various what, what these various things mean. Also, keep in mind that this does uh, tell you a little bit of information about how your data are stored, so you get some of that information as well. As you can see, for instance, uh, in records, last extent size. Uh, this relates to stored size. Um, you have padding and then you have some of the details. So you can actually see quite a bit of uh, storage as well as extent counts up here, storage information uh, too. But this valid can be very, this could be very useful. Again, if you, if you get errors or if you have uh, faults, that can be a huge concern immediately in your application.